Live and direct. Right, right, right. It's Sway in the morning. Right here on Shade 45. That was the son of Duke Cool Kim, Jawan. Jiwan from Korea. He flew into the country with his mom, who was Duke Cool Kim's fiance, the man that fought Ray Boom Boom Mancini and ended up losing his life as a result of the fight. And you guys had this this re- I don't know if you call it a reunion, but you had this meeting. It was a this, first time meeting. First time meeting. And 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 how many years? When did that meeting happen? That actually happened two summers ago. Two years ago. Yeah. And oh. this fight took his father died in 1982. Two. And I want to. No, commit, 1982. 1982. Yeah. The father died in right, 1982. Right. 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 And, and, and that when you watch it in the film is probably one of the most honest, mm-hmm. purest moments I ever witnessed. They, we talk about reality TV nowadays. That stuff is trash. Mm-hmm. Well, I saw you greeting Duke Cook Kim's fiance for the first time and meeting his son for the first time and then introducing them into your children. You have a handsome family. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Even to, you didn't have to do that. Well, well, well Mark Kriegel, who, uh, the author of the book, said, came back from Korea. He said, hey, first of all, he was on the way to the airport when he finally got Ji Won and uh-huh. Young Mi. He said, I'm not leaving until I interview these people. Now, they had never been interviewed not only by American report by any reporter anywhere in the world. He's wow. the first reporter to do that, and he wasn't going to leave until he, he got with them. And they met him at the airport. And after talking with them and reassuring them of what the intention on the book was, uh, they, I guess uh, G1 said, uh, would it be okay if I met Mr. Mancini? And Mark said, well, I'm sure. I'm sure it would you know, be okay. So Mark called me right away and said, hey. And I, and I, I felt... I felt an obligation to yeah. do that. And I said, yeah, yeah, I'd like to do that. And so that's how it got set up. And when they came, when they were telling me, you know, we're going to meet, I said, look, you know, my director, Jesse James Miller, uh, I said, Jesse, you got one shot to get this. I can't go through this. I can't do this. We got one shot. Mm. So you better get a couple cameras, you know. Mm-hmm. So they got, it was like a three camera shot, you know. And when they come down, you know, I had a lot of, a lot of emotions going on. I didn't know what, how I was going to respond, how I was going to react, and I didn't know what to do. I guess, you know, that's what I did. So we shook hands. I guess you could see I'm a bit stiff, which, yeah. I'm, you know, and then I hug him. But, you know, it's, but I wanted him to know that, you know, to have that connection. It was important for him, and it was important for me to meet him, but it was more important for him to meet me, I think, the last man in the ring with his father. And I, I tell people, the thing about fighters is we, nev- we, we never meet, know each other before the fight, never see each other again after the fight. But during those moments we're in the ring, we know each other better than anybody. Yeah. And I did. I knew what he had, what he was about on the inside. Hello, we got somebody on line. What's your name? Sam from Philly. What's your question for Ray, Ray, Ray Boom Boom Mancini? I, I just wanted to say, Boom Boom, you know, being Italian, I, I take my hat off to you. Thank you. Um, great for the heritage. I mean... You know, never took a step back, man. You you were by far the most exciting fighter of that era, in my opinion, other than Mike Tyson. And and I got to say, you know, it was amazing to watch you. And, and if you fought Pacquiao, who would win? Well, if, well thank, first of all, I want to appreciate and thank you for your comments. And if I would have fought Pacquiao, you said? Or if Mayweather fought Pacquiao? No, you, you fought Pacquiao. Oh, if I would have fought Pacquiao? Look, one thing I'll say is, Sam, that... that one thing my father taught me, you can never say who would win in a fight. All you could do is put two guys together and see what happens. And all I can say is that Manny is special. He's a great fighter. But I like to think, you know, I could fight a little bit myself. But it would have been a great fight because neither one of us would have been backing up. Uh, but he was a great fighter and he's special. So, but I like to think I'd have been, I would have done okay. Is he? Is he? Is Manny coming back to the sport? Yeah, he's fighting again. He's getting ready to fight uh, Brandon Rios. Uh, oh, really? Pretty soon. Who pretty cares? Soon. All right, so uh, <laughs> you know who cares? Who would uh, Mayweather's fighting Canelo? Right. It's a great. That's well, a great challenge. Him, actually, people thought. You know, asked me what I thought, and I said, you know, Floyd's special. He's special. He'll go down yeah. as one of all time greats. But I thought I think it's a it's a bad fight for Styles. Make fights. Yeah. Canelo is. I met Canelo. He's built like a linebacker, I mean, man. He's you know, thick, he's bro. so strong. Yeah. Plus, he's twenty two year old. I said, if he fights, and this is the key, if he if he jumps on Floyd right from the get, and pushes him back and makes it a dog fight, he'll beat Floyd. Uh-huh. If he likes, if he comes out slow and he like take his time like he usually he likes to do, and and take you know give a couple rounds away, then he'll lose because you can't give two, you know the first two rounds away to Floyd because then you have to win seven in the next ten yeah. to win, and that ain't gonna happen. Wow. Yeah. So. Um, it depends on how we fight. If he comes out and jumps on Floyd, it'll make it a dog fight. He has, I think he beats Floyd. Because he's twenty, you got the point is he's twenty two year old. 
you got to make Floyd fight at a 22-year-old pace. Yeah. Don't let him fight at a 36-year-old pace. And Floyd likes to dictate the pace of the fight. Yeah. You can't allow him to do that. So if Floyd, uh, if Canelo does that, he wins. If he doesn't, Floyd beats him. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shea 45.